Well, what we found is a tiny fossil. It's very small, nine millimeters in total dimensions. And it's found in ancient volcanic rock. These volcanic rocks are about 430 million years old. And the excitement surrounding this fossil is that it's got what we call exceptional preservation. Most fossils are compacted when you find them in the rock. They're distorted, they're destroyed in some way. But this is preserved completely and it contains parts of the animal which normally wouldn't get preserved. It contains things like eyes, limbs and other parts of the body, special organs for breathing for example. And this is exceptional preservation and it allows paleontologists to look at the morphology of the animal and to assess its place in the evolution of the group to which it belongs. Well when we took the material back to the laboratory what we found looking down the microscope looked interesting enough to try and grab the fossil out of the rock. There's no difference essentially in chemical composition between the fossil and the rock in which it sits. And this is a problem we've grappled with on this particular deposit. What we decided uh, to do, we decided that one way we could grab the fossil from the rock perversely is actually to serially grind away at the rock. And after each serial grind at very, very fine intervals, we take an image, a photographic image of the fossil. So we gradually work our way through, rather like a bacon slicer. And we're left with hundreds, thousands of images, which we then stitch together by custom computer techniques. And by stitching them together, we end up with an exact reconstruction of that particular fossil. In the Silurian period of geological time, there are not many exceptionally preserved biotas. There are just a handful around the world. So this is special because it enables us to plug a gap into animal diversity and paleobiology that we wouldn't otherwise have because we've not only got the hard parts of the animal, the shell, but we've also got essential soft parts, the paleobiology of the animal preserved. So we can build up a much greater picture of animal biodiversity and ecological complexity by knowing about this animals and its associates in this particular fauna.